530. I'm Sam Bauman and I'm Madeline Hunt. Savannians will have to wait a little bit longer before the sound of train horns becomes a thing of the past. Yeah, city officials confirmed to WTOC that a push to bring quiet zones to Savannah. It's now been delayed. Flynn Snyder reports. Well, quiet zones are sections of track where trains would not routinely blare their horns. City officials had hoped to have some of these zones in effect by November pending federal approval, but that's been delayed. In order to get the federal government to approve quiet zones, the city and rail partners had to upgrade all rail crossings in the proposed corridor. The first phase would impact about 1800 properties that would no longer regularly hear train noises and would extend on the CSX line from President to Habersham streets. The plan hit a snag though during the federal approval process. A statement from a city of Savannah spokesperson says in part, we received positive feedback from the Federal Railroad Administration from a preliminary review of our notice of establishment document with one minor update required. I reached out to the companies operating the rail line as well as the FRA to see what the required minor update was, but they weren't immediately available for comment. A city spokesperson tells me that Savannah's application has been put through and the first phase of quiet zones is expected to start January 10th. Reporting in Savannah, Flint Snyder, WTOC News. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg traveled to